All right, people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So this is actually the first card review since the computer repair, and uh, hopefully this goes well. Recording now, editing later, but uh, let's not do anything too complicated, too taxing. I mean, a ton of cards came out, so we got plenty to review, so that's good. Anyway, today we're looking at a card that goes with the rescue monsters. You know the rescue monsters. Well, mostly two of them. The other two aren't as well known. Of course, we have Rescue Cat that recently got errata and came out off the ban list in the TCG. Rescue Rabbit, which is still limited to one in the TCG. Uh, Rescue Hamster, who didn't see too much play at all. Maybe a little bit in Metaphos and maybe Ignite. And then we have the upcoming Rescue Ferret for Link Mechanic. But today we're looking at a spell card that can uh, search all of them. So today we are looking at Urgent Emergency Assistance Rescue. Holy crap, that is, that is, a, ma that is a mouthful right there. And hopefully they change that name in TTT. Anyway, it's a normal spell card that reads, if your life points are lower than your opponents. Reveal three beast type monsters with 300 attack and 100 defense from your deck. Your opponent chooses one for you to add to your hand and you shuffle the rest into your deck. You can only activate one emer urgent emergency assistance rescue per turn. So, uh, yeah, this card, it seems like not only do we know as a player base how good the rescue monsters are, but it seems like when they created this card, they knew how uh, great they are as well. So they, they put on some huge restrictions. So let's go down the list. So first, your life points have to be lower than your opponent. So opening up and going first with this, I mean, you know, if I have no way of getting my life points lower than my opponent, it's kind of a dead draw. I can't even really play it, you know? Uh, maybe a little bit of Upstart Goblin might help, you know? I'll just be like, Upstart Goblin, even out. Now I can play it because now my life points are only yours because I gave you a 1,000 to even out with my Upstart Goblin. But of course, in the TCG, Upstart Goblin is limited to one as well. So, I mean, I mean, this card doesn't seem like it's going to be that great in TCG. OCG, maybe, maybe? But TCG, that just seems like that's already strike one. Strike two, you have to reveal three beast type monsters with 300 attack and 100 defense, which I'm assuming is all the rescue monsters. I don't really pay attention to their attack and defense because they're not on the field for that long. They generally tribute themselves all, well, the two I'm thinking of. I'm, I can't even really remember what the hell Rescue Hamster does. And Rescue Ferret, I think it's like you tribute it off to summon monsters in a Link Monsters thing that add up to six, I believe. So. You're tripping yourself off, you know. Rescue Cat trips yourself off. Rescue Rabbit trips yourself off. So, to know these stats and know these cards that well, not really. But the fact is, you got to reveal three of these rescue monsters, and then your opponent gets gives you one. Which, depending on uh, the situation, of course, your opponent's not going to give you the best one. You know, uh, it's just they're all so niche and do their own thing. You know, it's not very often that you're going to see all these together in one deck, especially with Cat and Rabbit limited to one, you know, and those are arguably the best ones. It's like, yeah, I, I can reveal one Cat, I can reveal one Rabbit, but then I gotta play one of Hamster, who has to, I know he has to do with Pendulum, so, or I reveal Ferret, who has to do with Link, so it's like, either I'm doing Beast, <laughs> Normal Monsters, Pendulum, or Link. They, like, what kind of clusterfuck kind of deck am I playing, you know? And like I said, you have to reveal three of them, and your opponent's gonna give you one, you know? Uh, I seriously doubt that. And the thing is, even if you wanted to reveal and hopefully get one of the two better ones, being Cat or Rabbit, who's to say that your opponent's just gonna, not gonna be like, all right, well, here you go. Here you can have freaking Hamster or Fairy, you know? not the, the ones that need a little bit more set that just can't just be played and done something with because of course you need i think you need a little bit of setup with um with hamster and the pendulum mechanic and fairy i know you need a little bit of setup there you already need the link monster with the link marker so it's you know it's just it's not practical it's not practical and just in case you thought you were going to be cute and you know keep on activating multiple of these and revealing multiple of your one cat one rabbit and i mean if you want to play three ferret and three hamster like i don't know what deck you're playing at that point uh you're gonna activate one urgent emergency assistance rescue once per turn like maybe 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 if cat went up to three and rabbit went up to three because i believe in the ocg land i believe rescue rabbit's at three and i want to say cat is either at one or two i want to say i want to say one because I mean, it's still pretty powerful. You know, you could just summon two level three beasts and go into X Haber and Volker and go to town. But, I mean, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it, maybe if those cards went up to three, maybe we could talk. You know, like if it's OCG land and you had three Rescue Rabbits, then, you know, I can definitely see that. You know, I can definitely see you playing this, revealing three Rescue Rabbits, your opponent gives you a Rescue Rabbit, and then you do, you know, your Rescue Rabbit plays. Maybe a little bit of Lag and Doka, but as a system, TCG, I don't know. I, I don't, also, OCG, I believe they have three upstarts. Do they have triple upstart in the OCG? I think they do. I think they do. If they do, then, you know, three upstart three of this and three rescue rabbit might be a little bit of your uh your engine of course if rescue cat ever goes up then you could do some more shenanigans with that as well despite it's errata but it's just hampshire's not good enough ferret's not good enough and you gotta play at least one of the other one of them to pair up with that one cat and that one rescue uh rabbit and even then it's like normal monsters beast pendulum link they have nothing to do with each other and there's the fact that uh they're kind of working together here. It's just kind of eh to me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this card uh, as it sits in TCG. But the card art is nice. I like how all of them are sitting there rescuing. That looks like a little hedgehog. So, yeah, the card art's nice. The card art's nice. They just change the name for the, the TCG, definitely, because no one's going to want to say Urgent Emergency Assistance Rescue. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, the editing goes well for this video, but I think the recording went, recording went fine, at least. So, tell me what you guys think about this card <laughs> and the, the comment section below so i hope you guys enjoyed this card review of course i will be back next week with some more cards like that we have plenty of cards i actually want to look at the twilight swarms and you know eventually get to looking at uh firewall dragon you know there's there's plenty of cards to like that we we are not going without so uh thank you guys for watching thank you guys for all the support hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like button hit that bell for notifications and uh yeah i will see you guys next time we do a card review all right people thanks for watching